Hello guys, CryptoGrounds here. Welcome back to another Unity C Sharp Idle Game tutorial video. This is episode 37.5. Yeah, 37.5? So why 37.5? Well, thank you to Florian for uh, commenting this, but um, uh, each time you launch the game, you can claim the next day rewards. Maybe caused by UTC time in the data save and UTC time string. Yeah, so that's a bug that I've forgot to check. I should have checked for that. So my, for my, uh, blah, my apology for that. All right. So we're going to fix that in this video. So if you enjoy this, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new and check out my other videos in the top right corner and comment your suggestions down below. All right, let's get on with it. So I kind of already started working on this, but there's a few things I'm going to have to do. So, uh, let's see, what's the code before? Okay, so let's undo everything here. Okay, so here, this is where we were, we already left off here. So we're gonna get rid of some of this print stuff because we don't need it anymore. Um, okay, so we can get rid of this UTC timer. And so what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do is call this start, our st the start code routine at the start as well, because we want to load in that time. And we're gonna move this if statement. Um, in here. The reason why <clears throat> is because this this start coroutine is being called and then when we get to this yield return right here, the, co the code continues here, but it stops in here and that causes some problems because we're basically checking for this if statement here and by default, this temp date time is set to this right here. 1, 1, and year 1. <clears throat> Sorry about that. But this is an issue because these two are not equal, obviously, and this will trigger the, um, the date time to work. Now, I should have just checked each year, like if to the next date is greater than instead of, um, are they not equal to, but this is okay. In fact, well, because, I mean, this is also an issue because let's say we compare June 26 and July 1st, right? If we do greater than, you know, that's not going to work for the date, but for the month it will. So that just causes some issues. So we just need to make sure this doesn't happen. And we do that by grabbing this if statement and throwing it into the, at the end of this coroutine. And we're going to make a variable, a temp variable called data equal game dot data. Okay. So now again, this basically compares the day, the two days, um, the last saved or the last time we claimed a reward and our current time and if it's true and we haven't claimed yet then we can set that to ready and we're going to show our daily reward so that should work and I think there was something else that I did too oh yeah okay so let's save that there was one thing I forgot to do and it was the reward claim text I forgot to drag it in here and this uh, not doing this causes a null reference error. So make sure you drag your reward text from the daily reward claim pop up into the reward claim text. Okay, let's save it and it should work like a charm. Okay, so see, I've already claimed today, obviously. I was testing the glitch here, and yeah, you can see how can't claim the next day. Yep, we've already claimed these five days. Okay, and I think another thing I forgot to do is to actually reset these days. So let's do that real quick. So let's go to our claim here. So we increment it every day, right? So let's just say, uh, okay, so we're going to check to see if this is ready, right? So if it's ready and at the end of here, okay, so if we don't want to reset this after we claim the seventh time, right? Or else it'll look kind of funny. Right, because when you complete like a, a weekly thing here, let me see, let me find it in this one game. Can you even see it in here? Oh, right here. Okay, so for example, you probably hard to see. Maybe uh, it's trying to focus. Okay, let's see. Is it gonna focus? Maybe eventually. I don't know, but you can see how there's like a daily reward thing here. This is also called Idle Golf Tycoon. 
Really good game. Really good idle game. I recommend it. Um, so you see how there's like these check marks here. After I get the special reward, it's going to stay there until the next day, right? It resets. Okay? Because it says next reward there. I know it's hard to see. It's very blurry. This is a piece of crap camera. But yeah, that's what I meant. Okay. So what we do here is we calculate each current day. So let's say we claim the first day. It's going to be one. Okay, the second time, two, three, four, five, six. For the seventh time, it's going to go from six to seven. Okay, so now we're going to calculate if... Um, okay, so if data.currentDay is greater than or equal than seven, then we're going to reset that back to zero. Okay, and now the next time we can claim it, it should reset. So let's save that. And I think we should be good. I want to see if I can reset the timer. I really doubt it because I want to be able to test this. Um, okay. So let's see here. I doubt I'll be able to. Yeah. So our current day is six. And we've claimed day five. So once we can claim tomorrow, this will recommend to six and then seven and then it will reset. Okay. And I promise this should work. If you do eight, it should reset. Okay, so it's the same thing. This is cool. Okay, so since this is greater than seven, then when the next day is ready, we should be able to increment this. Let's see, can we actually change this? I'm curious. I really doubt it. Yeah, there's no, oh. You see, oh. Will this do anything? I doubt it. Oh, no, that's just the, this is from the, this is from here. That's what this date time is. Okay. So it should work. And, oh, okay. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I know it was a really short video. I'll have something good cooking up on Monday morning. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. Every, every single like means a lot to me. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. Check out my Patreon in the in the in the blah. the links in the description below. I am still two Patreons away today from the Antimire Dimension series. And I also wanted to get a quick shout out to Jeremy Airy for the one hundred dollar super chat today. Thank you very much. He is a game developer as well. Much, much, much much exponentially much better than me of course and he is part of a company called ridiculous gaming and yeah thank you very much <laughs> i'm still kind of surprised that happened and yeah i'm glad it did but shout out to him big shout out to him it was a huge motivation anyways all that aside thank you guys for watching stay tuned for another video subscribe remember turn those notifications if you don't have them on right now okay i can tell i'm watching i'm watching right now you better have turned it on by now. Have you? Good, good. See you guys in the next video.